Good evening, and welcome to St. Elizabeth. Today we celebrate the Nativity of the Lord. Merry Christmas. Our presider is our pastor, Father Carroll. His intention for this Mass is Wayne and Elaine Manlove. Please rise and join us in singing our opening hymn, number 92, O Come All Ye Faithful. We will sing verses 1 and 2, pause for a blessing at the manger, and then continue with the first Latin verse. such mangers was begun by St. Francis of Assisi as a means to set forth the message of Christmas. When we look upon these figures, the Christmas gospel comes alive. We are moved to rejoice in the mystery of the incarnation of the Son of God. God of every nation and people, from the very beginning of creation, you have made manifest your love. When our need for a Savior was great, you sent your Son to be born of the Virgin Mary. Our lives, to our lives, he brings joy and peace justice, mercy, and love. Lord, bless all who look upon this manger. May it remind us of the humble birth of Jesus and raise up our thoughts to him, who is God with us and Savior of all, who lives and reigns forever and ever.
Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we prepare to celebrate this feast of the Nativity of the Lord Jesus, Christmas, let us prepare ourselves by calling to mind our sins, knowing of the Lord's great love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. made this most sacred night, radiant with the splendor of true light. Grant, we pray, that we who have known the mysteries of his light on earth may also delight in his gladness in heaven, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Our readings for our celebration tonight are for the Mass for the midnight, or the Mass at night in the Missal. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing, as they rejoice before, 
before you as at the harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster you have smashed, as on the day of Midian. For every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given us. Upon his shoulder dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. A reading, of the, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age as we await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people as his own, eager to do what is good. The word of the Lord.
be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph too went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house of, and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in the region, living in the fields, and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of God shone around them, and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today, in the city of David, a, city, a Savior has been born for you, who is Christ and Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. The Gospel of the Lord. Merry Christmas again, and a special Merry Christmas to our virtual audience that is out there on Facebook, as they've been pretty faithful throughout this past year and a half, and so have you in so many ways. Today we come together to celebrate the Feast of Christmas and to remind ourselves why Jesus is important to us. This is normally our children's mass, and I normally call them all up here. We have a little conversation. But in our present reality, it will be a little hard for me to figure out who is saying what. I'm going to come to you. Armani, what kind of people do you invite to your birthday? Nice people. Hmm. Amy, Susan, what kind of people do you invite to your birthday? Hmm? Family and friends, of course. You're going to invite some family, you're going to invite some friends. Um, what kind of friends? Hmm? Good friends? People you want friends with? People you might want to be friends with? You invite those kinds of people to your birthday? Like it would be a good idea to invite this guy or this girl to my birthday? Ruby, I know you got this. What other kind of people do you invite to your birthday? People who bring nice gifts. Everybody be honest, you invite people to your birthday that you heard give good gifts. You've done that once or twice, Armani? Yeah, uh-huh, sure. Today we celebrate the birth of Jesus, and our youngest parishioners would say the birthday of Jesus. And he invites all kinds of people to this birthday. He invites his family and some friends and the people with the awesome gifts are coming okay. to celebrate who Jesus is. At any birthday, it's a gathering of relationships, people who know us and people that we know. And the same thing is true when we celebrate the birthday of Jesus. It's about gathering around the people that we know and then certainly recognizing that they know, they know us. It's about that important word called relationships, whether it's family or it's friends or relationships that we want. So we invite those people, maybe to inspire to start that relationship. And so that's what this Christmas birthday is all about. Jesus invites you and welcomes you to celebrate his birthday because he knows you 
and he wants to know you better, and you know him, and you want to know him better. That's what we celebrate, that Jesus, born in a manger, in a very simple, humble manger, on a quiet side at night in the city of Bethlehem, was so profound, was so important, that here we are, 2,000 plus years later, celebrating this story. Somehow the message got out. Somehow the message spread that this baby was born who would be the savior of the world. And that's the gift we all have to give to each other. Forgot my prop. The whole basket of them up here. So as you leave tonight, I'm going to be handing out candy jays. That's what we called them, right? Yes, good job. Candy jays. Armani, you look very confused. Candy jays. They remind us of who? Jesus. And they are red and white because we celebrate Jesus who is fully divine, white, water, and fully human, red blood, twisted together into one thing, a candy J, to remind us of the birthday that we celebrate, the one who invites us because he knows us and wants us to know him better. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess with the Baptist for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life in the world to come. Amen. A tiny child brings the promise of peace by the power of his presence. As we eagerly await his presence in this Eucharist, we bring our prayers. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer for the church, the body of Christ, that our deeds echo back the song of the angels, giving glory to God and proclaiming peace on earth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation and our world, that the spirit of Christmas peace carries into the new year. We pray to the Lord. Lord, For the children of the world, that room may be made for each one to grow in health, wisdom, and grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for our parish, that it continues to encourage our young people to consider the call to priesthood, religious life, or the permanent diaconate. For all engaged couples responding to the call to matrimony, we pray to the Lord. For those who have been burdened in any way, that this time of joy stir the flame of hope in their hearts to burn brightly throughout their difficult times, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially Wayne and Elaine Manlove, for whom the intention for this Mass, that they may be at peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, you are prayer. For ourselves, that our celebration of the Christmas mystery makes God's love more evident to us and draws us all to the altar and our Sunday celebrations, we pray to the Lord. For all our own Christmas wishes, we pray to the Lord. Lord, you are prayer. 
faithful God, your, your promise made new in the incarnation of your Son is the empowering gift we celebrate. On this holy night, bright with the presence of a newborn Savior, we offer our prayers and trust in your loving answer through Emmanuel, Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join in singing our offertory hymn, What Child Is This?, found on page 94 of your hymnals, 9-4.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. May the oblation of this day's feast be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray, that through this most holy exchange we may be found in the likeness of Christ, in whom our nature is united to you, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this all-filled mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours and begotten before all ages. He has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. O God, who love the human race, and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst, when we are gathered by his love, and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask you to send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the night before he was to suffer, on that night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross, to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your Spirit, 
Grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son and confirm us in the bond of communion, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, with all other bishops, with priests and deacons, and your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the Church, looking into the signs of the times, by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the Gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way to your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, with Saint Elizabeth, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. divine teaching, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to this supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Join in singing our communion hymn, Silent Night, found on page 77 of your hymnals. Page 77.
Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, that we who are gladdened by participation in the feast of our Redeemer's Nativity may, through an honorable way of life, become worthy of union with him who lives and reigns forever and ever. For how many of you did this Mass start the celebration of Christmas for you? Maybe dinner's coming, a few presents before Santa comes. Everybody have a great evening and a great day tomorrow. On behalf of everybody here at St. Elizabeth, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Continue to keep in touch with us. If you want to hear the other homily that's coming for the next four Masses, you can catch that after midnight on our Facebook page. I'm going to talk about God's economy. It's a theological concept. God actually has a plan to save the world. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth and joyfully proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join in singing our closing hymn, Joy to the World, found on page 80 of your hymnals. 80.